A new independent film looks at the issue of litter in our environment and asks what we can all do to reduce our footprint. Although there are some omissions and errors and issues that we frankly think would have benefited from a more balanced presentation, the film is a welcome addition to the public discussion on how we can more responsibly use the materials that we rely on every day. Here's where we all agree. Plastics don't belong in the ocean. All of us have a role to play in reducing, reusing, recycling, and recovering the plastics that we rely on every day. Hopefully this film will remind everyone the importance of litter prevention. But we can't lose sight of why we use plastics in the first place. Plastics make modern life possible. Every day, innovations in plastics help provide products like car safety seats, bicycle helmets. They make our cars lighter and more energy efficient. And innovations in plastic packaging help extend food shelf life, allowing us to enjoy our favorite foods and drinks for even longer. Take the milk carton, for example. In the past, when you opened a half-gallon cardboard carton of milk, you broke the airtight seal. But now, thanks to an innovation in plastic packaging, you can reseal that milk carton, keeping the contents fresh longer for your family to enjoy. And that's just part of the story. Every day, plastics help us do more with less. For example, in order to deliver 10 gallons of a beverage, you'd need only two pounds of plastic, but you'd need three pounds of aluminum, eight pounds of steel, or almost 40 pounds of glass to deliver that same beverage. And because plastic is so much lighter than other materials, making packaging from plastics allows us to reduce our use of energy, reduce waste, and have fewer greenhouse gas emissions than we would with other materials. For example, plastic water bottles today use 20% less material than they used just a few years ago. But no matter how useful or efficient, littered and discarded material of any kind, whether plastic, paper, steel, or aluminum, they don't belong on our beaches or in our oceans. Through the American Chemistry Council, plastic makers are working to increase opportunities to recycle plastics, to educate consumers about opportunities to recycle, and to remind folks about the importance of thoughtful consumption. And one of our programs has placed over 700 recycling bins along California state park beaches and heavily trafficked rest areas along the coast. Innovations in chemistry provide many benefits to modern life, and it's important for consumers to know that chemicals and products that they use are thoroughly evaluated through a comprehensive set of federal rules and more than a dozen laws and regulations. For example, consumers can feel confident that all food contact packaging is subject to strict FDA review and approval before it's placed on the market. And our member companies fully support efforts to modernize our U.S. chemical management system. We all deserve to have confidence that our government has the highest quality information available to make important decisions about chemical safety. And finally, here's some simple tips to help us all reduce what we use and to recycle and recover what we can't. First, if you don't need a plastic bag, don't take it. And if you have a reusable bag, be sure to bring it along with you. At lunchtime, we can reduce by using reusable plastic containers or by drinking from reusable plastic bottles. Recycling varies by community, but these days, most curbside programs accept all plastic bottles for recycling, and major grocery and retail chains accept plastic bags and film. And remember, keep the caps on the bottles. Recyclers want those too. We've got just this one planet. We're all in this together to keep it clean. 